Activity 10, making an image be a background. So we've already got an image on our page here, but we're looking at this a different way. We can make this image, rather than just be in the middle of the page, we can make it be the actual page and then everything's on top of it. So we want to wrap the entire web page in a body tag. So just like we did with the div tag before, we're just taking a new line up here, body, and closing the body. Now, similar story, if we want to indent everything else, then we can see a little bit neater. Okay, so the body tag. So what we have to do to that is add in the style code, and we're going to do the background color to start with. So we're going to get style, background color, and let's choose a color and run it. Background color FFF is white. So that's not going to work, is it? Let's choose something else. All right, so I've got a background color. It's working. Had to troubleshoot a little bit. I missed a hashtag there, which makes a big difference, apparently. Next step is we want to replace that background color with an actual image. So we need to use some different code for this. First, we need to find a background image. I like the look of this. Let's copy that image address. Come back over to our project. So we've got the background color working. See if we can get the background image working. There we go. So when we put in the right code, it will work. So you can see by default that the background image doesn't actually go as big as the web page. It's repeated, which is nice because then we don't have to worry about anything else. Otherwise, we would have to worry about finding the right code on here to repeat the picture. X being across the page, Y being down the page, depends on your image. But that default repeat just tiles it. And that's a good option to tile an image. And you can even put that in your search background image tile. Because it'll give you something that looks a little bit more seamless than what mine did. So I'm going to download the HTML file and just going to preview it now. So I'm just going to click on it and it'll open it up as a web page inside whatever browser is your default browser. And this is good because then you can actually see what it looks like when someone visits your website and you can also use the hyperlink. It'll direct me to the right page now. 